Hello again, it's Nick from Cotswold Fireworks talking about the FireTech firing system and this video is going to be about the FireTech Show Designer software. Uh, the particular version we're running here is dated uh, February 2016. It may have uh, changed, been updated, but um, apart from a couple of bug fixes, uh, this one will be perfectly okay for demonstrating what we're going to do. Uh, when uh, FireTech sends you the software, be it um, over email or with a USB stick with your modules that you purchased, uh, you first need to install some database software. The FireTech Firing System Show Designer software uses a database to hold on to the scripts and um, also to keep a uh, copy of your um, how should we say, your inventory of fireworks uh, because it is a piece of inventory software as well. So uh, we're just going to mess around with the designer side. Uh, so first of all, it, you see these two files, install first for 32-bit Windows or install for Windows 64-bit operating system. So once you know which version of the operating system you have installed and you can find that out by uh, right-clicking on my computer selecting properties and a window will appear and in there somewhere there we go system type 64-bit operating system so the installation that I need to do would be install first for Windows 64 double click on executable click next 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 all the way through and OK to install and the database software will load and install quite happily into the back end and you never need to touch it again. Once that's installed you can then run up the FireTech Show Designer software. It always goes to a maximized screen which to be honest is slightly annoying. I wish it went back to the screen size that you had previously. So excuse me while I resize to the uh, the window that we're showing in this video. Uh, yes we want to run it and uh, now we maximize it. I'll just put it across into the screen like so and pull that down in there. Now most of the time I just use this software to take the scripts that I built into Finale Fireworks, click on the test and run button and then I import the project from uh, Finale, in this case here's a script with all the bits and pieces, open it, there's the script is loaded, now I don't want an audio file and then I send the project to the interfaces to install that script down to the modules. So most of the time the menu that I'm running is the test and run menu, that's all I need to know. Uh, today we're actually going to design a show in the show designer. This could be a mess because I haven't touched this for a year. Uh, as I say, I already have some software for show design, but you can do it in show designer. So let's design a show. Let's do new project. Uh, give it a title. <laughs> Test design. Why not? Uh, 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 and spell it correctly. Where is it being held? In the UK. Uh, description. A test of well, let's have a module at every firing position, a test of three modules in 60 seconds. Here we go. And uh, and you can, of course, pick a music file, because if you're going to fire the music, you need to put the fireworks in time to the music. So let's see if we can grab a... We won't use the time code mix, because that will have... Uh, in fact, we can use that one because that does not have the time code on it. So we'll do that one just to uh, uh, be happy. What interfaces do we have? The 96 is the old style of um, FireTech firing system with eight slats sold in 2009 onwards. The one that we have is the 48, and we will need three of those. So we have three firing modules. We're going to have three firing modules. We are going to have a free firing position, so we'll add a, um, we can call them actually, uh, a middle, oh dear, bad spelling, middle, um, and we'll give it a number so that we can name the module with the number, and let's delete that selected position, add a launch position, we will have a right, cool, terrible spelling, right, which will be a two, and we will have a left, which will be module number three. Three modules selected, three positions fire uh, that we're going to firing. So that's 48 firings at each position. Map rails on launch positions. Okay. 
Uh, FireTech call a module an interface, but uh, so excuse me if I do keep switching between interface or module, it means the same thing. And in America you may call rails slats, and in the UK you may call slats rails. But if I say a rail or I say a slat, it does mean the same thing. Interface or module, rail or slat. And there we go. So at the moment we have our three interfaces or modules. We have our three firing positions. And all we want to do here is we are going to drag this interface across to be uh, interface 1. We may as well make the middle firing position, like so. There we go. And it has its four rails connected to it. And uh, on the, the left-hand side, we will, well, yes, let's, um, left is free, so we'll drag interface 3 across to the left. You could, if we were only using two two rails in the right-hand position, just drag the rail across, and it would just do the rail on its own, and leave those rails to go to somewhere else. So you could put a rail at a position, or a module at a position, um, or interface, as they say. Well, we'll just grab the whole interface and push it in there. So there we go. Um, that's all done. So we have a module or interface at each position, each one with four slats. Just keeping it simple for the demonstration. Rashi layout completed in so much as we have three firing positions, three modules, and a module exists at one position only with the four slats. So that's 48 firings per position. Setup complete. So we do OK. Right, we've got the audio installed. There it is. We have our middle launch position. Can we drag these around? As I say, I've never built with this, so this is going to be interesting to... We can probably slide that down. We don't need all that, do we? It's going to be interesting to see what happens. So, can we play the music? Let's play. We've got two seconds of intro, and then... Today this could be uh, turn the volume up a bit. Uh, that works. Good, that works absolutely fine. And uh, let's just get back to the beginning. There we are, right. So, here we have a list of fireworks. Uh, it's not very many. The software comes with just some demonstration uh, devices installed. Uh, what you um, may will want to do, of course, is to look at all your fireworks you've got and key them in into the system. So, of course, you can go into uh, manage stock and and change um, descriptions about the stock and add more or oh, my fireworks and add extra fireworks in, give them codes, delay times, it's, it's pieces. I've not read any of this in the manual. It's something that uh, you, you can learn. This is very simply the software straight out of the box. We're just going to create a quick strip script. So we will pick the middle position. That's what we're going to be working on. Uh, we're going to play, and every time that we start playing, I can click. Do I just drag? Let's stop that then. So that's our firing position. This is going to be very interesting because, as I say, I've never done it as such. So do I drag that and let go? Aha! We do. So whatever that is, SBR Red, we've got 77 of them in stock. I just copy into the timeline where I want them to fire. And because I have middle position 1 checked, they are appearing in the firing order at middle position 1. Channel 1, or interface 1. Yep, interface 1. Rail 1, Rail 2, Rail 3, Rail 4. It's quite interesting. It's not normally how we would use this. Um, I would personally fill up one rail first. So it would be Rail 1, and I'll go Channels 1 to 12. And then when that's filled, I would then go Rail 2, Channels 1 to 12. It could very well be that this is a preference within the software that you can change. Uh, maybe I should look and find out. Uh, channels both sides. No. Um, show design. Nothing about it in there. It's very little on the settings. Um, maybe uh, FireTech can tell us something differently there, but I prefer to have a rail of cakes and a rail of candles and a rail of shells. So uh, to me, I would actually fill a rail first before doing um, uh, moving on to the next rail. So, um, but as I say, at the moment, this is just showing you that the software can be used, it can be edited. And it's quite simple. So I've finished on that. Let's do the right position. If I can check both at the same time, uh, let's put some yellows up. So drag onto the top. 
and yes it has put a yellow into both one on the left one on the right so you can do symmetry very quickly let's pick something else let's have some greens into there and a blue into there and a yellow into there again and um, play it's not going to show anything yeah it works let's go back to the middle Red green matrix, so move along a bit into there and uh, just add a couple of these in, shall we? Just want to see what it does on the rails and the adjusting in the rails. There we go, middle, and as you say, it's gone again. It's one, two, three, four for the rails, uh, port two, port two, port two, and port two. Not the preferred way of doing it. You would want that to go rail one port 3, port 4, port 5, port 6 because they're more than likely going to be in the same same, same system. But it's um, it's learning this in advance. If you're going to do any programming you've got to get used to these systems and, 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 uh, and the way they work. Um, we need to talk to Firetech about this and ask them if that's going to change or if there's a way of changing this in preferences because what we really want is the rail to stay to the same number and the channel to change uh, not to switch between four rails and then the channels. But uh, there we go. That's 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 how quick and easy it is to set up a, a design. Um, I do like the way that you can um, pick the modules, pick the positions, drag the rails across, and put them into different places. That's quite a neat piece of software uh, method. I don't like what it's doing here by changing the rail number and keeping the channel all the same. But this was just a quick demo to show what's going on. So uh, we've we've got to save the project, haven't we? So this was yeah, it saved it. And at that point, uh, you can now go test and run. And if you've got a module um, loaded, well, let's load a module because let's you may as well just see how much simpler this is. Uh, Let me see, where's my USB cable? Excuse me while we plug that in. Rattle, rattle. So, USB cable into computer. Open the box. Turn the box on. The interface or module and because it's not programmed it's going to ask me for the module ID uh, or interface number. The interface number we're using is 1 so I will also have number 1 on the module. Insert USB, probably heard that, it's found it and in test and run auto detect interface it's found it. Interface number 1. Finish searching, searching should I say. There we are now you've got the load project button because this project has been saved within firetech show designer and is part of the database normally you would use import project if you're importing from a different firing design software but load project will now load up all the projects that are saved in the uh, the database and today's date test design that's the one and it also knows about the audio file that we're using we do okay project one interface was loaded OK. There we are. Has it loaded the music at the same time? Yes, it has. It's loaded the music into the software. So we can now send the project to the interfaces. So as you see, the interface is not programmed. Send project to interface. As so fast as that, the module stroke interface in the field is now programmed up. Uh, the audience have arrived. We arm the interface. One, two, three, four, or should we arm the system? The system is armed. And now we're going to press play. And because the software has also loaded the WAV file, the PC will load the music and play the music. So here we go. Two second delay and straight into playing the music. Fantastic. Everything we wanted it to do. And the firing system is firing the ports. I'll stop it there. That was just a quick review of what you can do. We can uh, delete programming and we can close that down and we can turn the box off. Uh, that is Firetech Show Designer. Very quick and dirty demo but it can build scripts for you albeit um, this rail section is not my preferred way of working and it, um, if Firetech could get back to us and tell us how to change this so that the rail stays the same and you do channels 1 to 12 and then change the rail to the second one and do channels 1 to 12 again. 
That'll be fantastic. Um, hope you're all having a good time. Uh, this is goodbye from Cotswold Fireworks and Firetech, uh, or Demonstrating Firetech, the fireworks show designer software. Um, have a great evening, whatever you're doing, and we'll catch you all next in the next video. Goodbye.